the positive and negative social and political influence of Zinedine Zidane to France. Zinedine Zidane to the country of France is seen as an influential power in the worlds of politics and sport. As an emblematic sports star, Zinedine's celebrity persona remains unclear, as his influential marks have been seen both on and off the field. His Algerian descent, long-lived successful football career, and politically controversial moments have marked him to be one of the most influential French icons. Many see Zidane as significantly responsible for positive social change in France and the perception of immigrants through being a part of the victorious 1998 World Cup team and through his Algerian descent pride. However, whether Zidane has influenced France the way most believe he has is an ongoing debate as he continues to impact everywhere after recently being coined the most popular Frenchman of all time. His recognition and rise to success came predominantly from the 1998 World Cup, where Zidane soared. He not only brought the French team to a World Cup victory, but additionally took full advantage of the Cup's home field advantage in Paris. At the time, France was a nation of tense political and social division. France's national team was the forefront reflection of the country's diverse population, with players from all over, including but not exclusive to North African countries like Algeria and Morocco along with those from the Ivory Coast. The one for the French national team brought a huge wave of nationalism and an assortment of political and social repercussions. The team was a direct reflection of the nation's diverse population and civilized France road to a more unified national identity. Zidane was at the forefront of this revolutionary movement, making him the superstar of the 1998 World Cup and French identity. This revolution had a significant positive influence on, a Fr on French political policies as Zidane and the rest of the French national team changed France's outlook on immigrants from outwardly negative to more accepting through one of Europe's most cherished and culturally, culturally treasured events, football. As the son of two Algerian immigrants, Zinedine Zidane was born in Marseille, France in 1972. Showing a natural talent at a very young age for football, he grew up learning the, to play the ways of the game in the streets of Le Castellan, a rough section of Marseille. Given his family's descent, Zidane's identity and influence on Frenchness and the African diaspora has been a topic of discussion ever since he stepped foot into the limelight as a celebrity. This idea of African diaspora and Frenchness stems from the social unrest and relations between two particular groups the French citizens born from African migrant parents, and the sovereign power as the concept of treatment and of difference in contemporary France as a definition of its own. Contemporary France has drawn a line between them and us, dividing a line essentially separating those who are deemed unworthy or those who are unable to access a sense of Frenchness against those who are properly French and Republican. Because Zidane does indeed come from parents of Algerian descent, he claims that he only recognizes the difference seen in contemporary France, but also takes pride in who he is and where he comes from. His honesty and loyalty to Marseille, Le Castellan, and general roots in Algeria give him a sense of celebrityhood like none other. Dante and Mori refer to Zidane as a combination of configurations, including race, ethnicity, nationality, morality, Due to his popularity and France's large immigrant population, Zidane symbolizes nationalism and diversity within the nation. These symbolizations give him a positive influence on both France and its political policies, as seen through his leadership and revolutionary persona in the 1998 World Cup, as well as pop culture in France, as it includes music, art, and style of immigrant influence. In addition to Zidane's positive influences on political policy and pop culture, his identity has often been known as unwilling, problematic, and contradictory, as he is still referred to as bleu, a slang French term for Arab. These accusations of Zidane's representations about being about a negative influence or persona on Zidane and his influence on France. Although he is adored by most, many state how difficult it is to divine his celebrity persona due to his shy and uncommunicative demeanor displayed during interviews. Dante and Murray state how Zidane tends to resist debates on French politics, culture, and society, giving his audiences an aloof vision of who he really is through media showings and interviews. His shy and uncommunicative nature leads people to believe that he battles against inner contradictions and oftentimes keeps to himself, 
as a means of self-preservation. Unlike other French soccer players such as Thadam and Henry, where both players made efforts in the 2005 political protests against social deprivation, one does not listen to Zidane, one watches him, as it is well known that when Zidane does speak up, it is only about football. For a man of such popularity in France and around the world, it is amazing how quiet and mild-mannered Zidane really is. His tame personality perhaps is a factor of his level-headedness. By acting in such a way, Zidane may be trying to not only be himself in front of his fans in the world, but may also be trying to keep himself grounded. Zidane's way of persisting his grounded and level-headed persona may be by not getting overly involved in the heated politics and debate-heavy nature of France, but instead focusing on what France knows and loves him by, football. Zidane has not personally contributed much to effect positive change regarding the marginalization of immigrants in France. Rather, it is his 1998 World Cup teammate, Lilian Thuram, in particular, who has had a more positively impactful influence on racism and brought about attention and recognition to programs like UNICEF. Lilian Thuram, a citizen of Guadeloupe, a French Caribbean territory, was one of Zidane's many teammates on the victorious 1998 World Cup team. As a politically driven persona, Thuram, as of 2010, became an ambassador for UNICEF, or the United Nations Children's Fund. In an effort to keep engaged and grounded, Thuram has always kept himself around and about politics. Back in 2005, he expressed his reactions to Sarkozy's racist comment that a high-pressure hose was needed to wash the scum out of the suburbs. Eventually, Thuram stated how Sarkozy's word made him sick and how he took those words extremely personally. Thuram's outward tackle on political issues like racism in France is evident to put the public and is seen as influential. Thuram, off the field, is known for being a very studious and classy individual. Zidane, on the other hand, has recently taken up the title as an ambassador for Qatar's bid to stage the 2022 FIFA World Cup, claiming that it's a victory for the Arab world. Campaigns and political moves like this is what Zidane is not known for. However, hopefully this participation brings Zidane to appreciate what he can do not only on the field, but off the field as well. Zidane has given the country of France and the world a show on the football field, as his football talent is undoubtedly questioned. However, with a great career comes controversy and conflict both politically and pop culturally. Whether you perceive Zidane Zidane as a positive or negative figure, there is no doubt that he has had a strong impact on the French society. However, perhaps there are others, like Thuram, who have done more for the political benefit of France as a whole.